at 11 now. We're now seeing the face of the woman who Sarasota deputies say was beaten to death at a Venice hotel. Her husband telling us tonight he walked in on the crime scene after his wife, a housekeeper at that hotel, stopped answering his calls and text messages. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone spoke with him and shows us the convicted felon now charged with murder for that attack. Gerald Strader says he found his wife, Tina, unconscious, battered and bruised inside a room at the hotel where she worked as a housekeeper. He says he went to check on her when he could not reach her. And I thought, well, they moved her to the third floor or first floor or to even laundry. So I went and checked all those places. And nobody had seen her, nobody heard from her, nobody, nothing. So I went back to the room and then when I opened the door, I saw her. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office says just after 1030 Tuesday morning, deputies responded to the roadway Inn on South Tamiami Trail in Venice. The victim later died at a hospital that evening. Detectives say surveillance video captures a suspect entering the hotel room where the victim was discovered. Deputies say that suspect had been staying at the hotel for nearly a week. Deputies arresting 30-year-old Stephen Havruka, who has a long criminal history with 34 prior felony charges, 19 felony convictions. He also served time in prison four separate times. There is no other way to describe uh, Mr. Havruka. Uh, he is uh, an animal. Uh, he also has tattoos that depict his uh, certain symbols of white supremacy that you can see on the poster board that we have here and his neo-Nazi uh, alliances. Strader and his wife have been married six years. She made such an impact on so many people's lives. She was very genuine. The sheriff's office says the victim and suspect did not know one another. Deputies found the suspect acting erratically on the street corner. It took five deputies to take him into custody. Reporting in Venice, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.